Hey guys, it's River Dave. We're down here at the Riviera Marina on the first day of fall, and I'm um, with my friend uh, Lee Spindler from Shiata Boats. Lee, what do we have here? We've got a new uh, 21RT, uh, a little bit different from all the old ones. This one's designed to run the big outboards. It's got a little bit more angle of attack, got a little bit more tunnel compression at the transom, and it's designed to run big water. So the RT was originally designed, you know, everybody else with the tunnels, they're always saying <coughs> that tunnels are for speed, but the RTs were originally designed as training boats, right? Yes, they're, they've always been rough water boats. Um, the first one we ever built, we'd run to Catalina twice a week for years. And the idea of the tunnel is to soften the landing so that to they're not getting beat up in the boat. Soft ride, yes. Yeah, what the tunnel does is we're using it kind of for suspension. Uh, when you hit the big water, it gives you a, a shock absorber up until the point you bottom that out. And when we were training for water ski racing, you could always get an observer to go once backwards. Getting him to go twice was always a problem, and that's where this boat came. Yeah, so if you're training skiers, you know, in race conditions, you guys will see right behind Lee here, um, this is actually a ballast tank, it's a dump. So in race boats and V-drives, they'll actually load the front of the boat up with water to displace uh, larger waves and all that, make it uh, what is smoother for the skiers. But if you're training them, you want to, you want them in rough water. Right? Yeah. 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 You don't want them uh, lollygagging back there when you're training. But uh, yeah, this boat's got a, an onboard ballast system. Uh, not because they're ski racing, it's because the water's getting rougher and rougher and rougher. And on days when it's an ocean out there, you, you can change the center of gravity and add 400 pounds to the boat. So how did you uh, add the tunnel compression in the back? That's kind of fascinating how you did that. Uh, well, it's a little bit of math um, and inserts that we did in, inside the mold. Uh, and the idea was to um, yeah, just to add about a, a degree and a half of uh, attack angle. And over the length of the boat, uh, we lost about two inches uh, at the transom. And that two inch um, loss is what generates the uh, tunnel compression at the transom. So what he's saying by that is they took the original mold and they did an insert. It's actually basically two steps and they changed the angle of attack on the bottom so that the bottom, back of the boat is getting smaller than it used to. So instead of the air just going straight through and out, it's actually compressing it harder and harder. And they did that to carry the weight of the new outboards. The outboards are four strokes now and they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And so they modified, how long has the RT been around? Since the 80s? Late 80s. Yeah, since the late 80s, they modified that now. And with this new bottom and a big outboard, this thing runs pretty good. It runs about? Uh, it'll run a little over 80. And there you have it. This and it's not a light boat. This particular boat belongs to the Mogs, and it is crispy and clean, as they say. It's uh, yeah, very simple. You guys will see the pictures in the, in the article and in the video. And uh, Lee, thank you so much for your time. Oh, thank you. Thank you.